G'day guys, how's it going? Welcome to Man Cave Tuesday. Hope you all had a ripper week. I reckon I've actually had a not too bad a one. All right, what's going on in this video? We'll do a product review of the SUV doorstep. Of course, we check out what Nay's up to in the wood shop. <laughs> Bit of me trying to sew up my pocket. I'll give you a close up of the rear rack on Harry, that chrome issue, and explain what we're gonna do. Something a little bit new, BB News. BB News? BB News. I get a visit from a bloke, Mick, on his BMW F700 GS. Take his for a quick ride on the old boasty bike, and Matt and Haley get me some awesome footage of when they did their uh, holiday over in Bali, all motorcycle stuff. Rightio guys, let's check out this quick little review of the SUV doorstep. How we going, guys? Oh. All right, what we're doing is I've, got, I've been given a thing from, uh, what is it, SUV doorstop. So this thing, you've obviously seen it. It's been promoted bloody everywhere and there's shitloads of uh, reviews on it. Um, but they sent me an email, said, would I be interested in doing it? And I said, hell yeah, because I was actually interested in getting one, so. I'm not gonna go through too much bullshit. Basically, it's the SUV doorstop. Simplest bloody thing you can do. So let's go and have a look at this thing in action. Actually, guys, before I show you that thing in action, it's all about bloody hooking it in there and so you can get up on the, on the roof. I'll show you how I normally do it. And basically, if I wanna get up the stuff up here, I just jump on here. And I've got, I've got pretty good access. Like that. Same with the back. Pass around like this. But to get up, can you see me? To get up on the roof, what I gotta do, that might be a better angle for you. Um, this, oh, jump up on here. I pick me certain spots where I stand, and I can get up and do what, and that's. That's not too bad, that's pretty bloody easy actually. But, I'm gonna be wrecking me paint and you know, possibly denting and stuff. I haven't added this as yet. Shut up Mark, let's have a look at this thing in action. Righty, so we open the door. Grab our little duvalacky. And simply just uh, grab this bloody thing, hook it in there like that. And now, boom, got a little bit of extra Height. Bloody ripper! So just so you can see that from the distance, so I've got this, and I'm up here. As soon as I whack on here, wow, I can, you know, just have that little bit of extra room to get through. Now, one thing I haven't tried is to use it to actually jump on. But first, I'll show you. Oops. On my back door, when I hook it in, it's a little bit, it's not as a uh, bit of an angle, but it doesn't actually matter. Hey presto, works like a bloody treat. So now the one thing that I haven't tried with this is to see if I can actually hop up on the roof using that and not doing it the normal way. Righty-o. Ha! That's all, that's bloody awesome. So now can I get back down? Oh, next trap. Well, there you go. That's the first time I've done that, and that, that actually works a treat. What? Bloody crazy. No more, you know, doing the whole jump. That's a game changer. Rightio, so a bit of the stats. That thing will hold, there's the whole physics mumbo jumbo 
going on on how this whole thing works. They've rated it to 230 kilograms. I'm only, what, 76 kilos at the moment, pretty much lightweight. But yeah, 230 kilos, geez, you've got to be a big bloke to be, uh, if, you're that, if you're that big, I don't think you'd be bloody getting up and down on that. So, it's made out of um, air grade aluminium. Yes. But yeah, it's just, it's rock solid. There's no buttons, no batteries, no, just, you just can't. Bloody ripper, 50 bucks is what, on their website, 49.95 or something like that, crazy. So obviously one thing you gotta watch out for is um, when you've got this on and you go doing your stuff and you're worrying and you're putting that over there, don't forget not to do that. <laughs> You gotta bloody remember to take it off. That's why I thought the red one is really good on because you can see that. But uh, yeah, you might do a bit of damage to it. But yeah, there you go, crazy. And I just, I'll just, well, maybe not keep it in there, can I? Oh yeah, can keep it in there. You can't see that, can you? So yeah, just bloody uh, keep that in there. Bloody brilliant. Now while we're uh, doing this, I want to show you something. This is something that I bought when I was first doing up this whole, um, this Jeep and the trailer. This whole thing's been set up for doing um, support vehicle uh, for motorbikes. Anyway, I went to Super Cheap and I bought one of these big bloody hills because I thought that it'd be like that in on there. Hey, presto, that guy's give me good access. And it does, and it does, but as you saw, it's a big, bulky, heavy pain in the ass. So that thing that I bought, I don't know how many years ago now, has been sitting in my back shed. I've never used the bloody thing. So uh, that, that, that bloody doorstep, crazy, 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 blow my mind. Rightio, so as I said to you guys, um, the, the people at uh, SUV Doorstop sent this out to me to do a review on it. Done that. Now what I didn't realize, so I said, they sent me an email and said, would you be interested? And I said, yeah, no worries. They sent it out and then they sent me an email saying that I can offer a 10% discount to you guys if you wanna buy it. So here's the link to their website. In the description, there will be a link directly to the product. Um, and this code, which will also be in the description, if you use that code, you get 10% off it. But I mean, 50 bucks. Um, that's just, that's for what this can do, that is just cheap, cheap bloody, uh, cheapest chips, something like that. Rightio guys, um, back to the man cave, eh? Let's check out what May's up to in the wood shop. Aha! Oh dear lord, you're back with that thing. What's going on? Just checking out what you're up to. And I'm going to have a shot at selling my pants. Ooh! I see that you've got the thread in the machine. It seems like it's all ready to go. Yeah, there's always thread in there. Yeah. So it's just a matter of if it's the colour you like. So once I finish checking what you're doing, I'm going to go try and uh, sell my pants and I'll show the fellas. I'm excited! <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what do we got? Oh! So this is using all your scrap bits and pieces. Yeah, so. just crap. Cause... So that's going to be bottle top opener thingies. Yeah, oh. so they'll have, yeah, the standard. Yeah, yeah, cool as. And then it'll... Oh, have. and then you put some type of little writing thing on there yeah, too. Yeah, I'll put something on there. And you got a whole... Oh, so that from last week, that was all those blank signs. Yes. That you were making up, so they're all done. Yeah, so, so those two will be a custom order. Oh, okay. Um... Oh, I have to do another one of them because there's three orders. Yeah. Two. And then she's making, so I can pick that up. Yeah. Look, it's going to be a Christmas tree. Yeah. So it'll go on a. You do it. I'll go stand back. Cool. And then you'll have some. It'll be cut shorter. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And then you'll have words or something on there. Yeah. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Uh -huh. <clears throat> something like that. Cool. 
All right, I'll leave you to it. Marvellous, see ya. I forgot to ask, people are always interested what music you're listening to. I'm actually listening to an audio book at the moment. And what's the audio book you're listening to? I don't know. I don't know what it's called. Oh, really? The House Across the Street. But it's almost finished. There you go. For those that were interested. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Rightio. Off with the boots. Jeez, I'm just about nearly ready for boots. Look at that. Bloody crazy just from pulling them on and off. These are years old now, I think. Off with the pants. And that's what we've got to sew up. Rightio, guys. So, sitting here in my bloody jocks, and I'm going, well, how the hell am I going to sew that? I can't. I can't get it. I can't get it over it. Or can I? No, I can't. How could you do that? I reckon that's going to be a hand sewn. I'll have to ask Nay if she knows a trick. All right, I've just had Nay to come and bloody help me out. It was able to take that out, but we still couldn't get that out. So the only option would be to, Nay said to unpick that and then sew that and then sew that. But that is way too much. I'm going to hand sew. Hand sew will be fine. Rightio guys, so I've got a piece of bloody cotton doubled over, tied a whole heap of bloody knots, so I had to get the magnifying glass to be able to thread this stupid bloody thing. Let's see if a bloke can hand sew. I've done sewing before. Uh, put that through there. Oh shit, yeah, something like that. Go through again. Do we go out again? And then I think we've got to loop it so it ties a knot. Something like that, guys. So I'm just going to bloody zoom along here, see what I can get done. I'm sure Nay will fix it for me later. <laughs> Well, there you go, guys. That is a done deal. How long it'll last, I have no idea. But, at least, it's better than what it was before. Look at that. Bloody perfect. Perfect my ass. Brilliant. Right, oh, all important, uh, does the wallet go in? The iPhone. Look at that. Booyah! Well, there you go, guys. So I bet you didn't think you'd be watching a video of some bloke sewing up his pocket. Um, <laughs> the crew guys will know how I ripped that bloody pocket. Bloody Max. Oh, crazy. Righto. Back to the man cave. Rightio, guys. I just wanted to give you a quick look when I talked about redoing um, this rear rack on Harry. I wanted to be able to get right down because a lot of you guys were saying about you know aluminium and polishes and all that kind of stuff but i wanted you guys to see that this is what an aussie would say rooted this is rooted so there's no amount of polish is gonna bring that back i should get me glasses so i can see whether this is in focus or not so it's totally stuck there's no tricky things that you can do to bring that chrome back because there's so much chrome gone. It just keeps flaking away. So that, like right there, there is no chrome. Cool. So actually, so I still got it. This is, uh, thanks for all the comments on, on the different things and what your thoughts were with that. What I'm going to try and do is after the Poon Kerry ride, which is, uh, November the 2nd, shut up birds. Um, I'll, wait, I'll wait till after that. Then what I'm gonna do is clean all this up, try and use some type of um, chrome spray, see how that comes up.
pretty sure it's going to come up shit. Um, then we might try a nice black or something like that colour on it. And then we'll most probably just gut it all again and go and get it chrome dipped. Rightio yeah, guys, thought I'd uh, try and do a little bit of a, uh, I don't know, let's call it BBA news. So the first bit of news, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to play, this is about the uh, the hopper out at Murray Sunset National Park. I did a bit of footage, which you would have seen in a video. Look, I'm just going to play it for you. So somehow they must have got the gypsum up into the top of that, and then the trucks would drive underneath, drop the gypsum in, and then cart it out. So I think that's what the idea of this hopper was. Don't quote me on it. So yeah, don't quote me on it because I got it wrong. Now I did in the in the footage of that video, I did say possibly a train. There was um, some of the guys were saying that they noticed there was uh, railway spikes along the track, um, and then other people. There's actually a mound, like a big long mound, where a train line obviously used to go at one stage. Well, Ross <laughs> contacted me via email and sent me a link to this photo. So there it is, that's the actual, that's that hopper. And there is a train that bloody ran through there. That is crazy, and all the, obviously the building work and that stuff there. Bloody amazing. So there you go, guys. Bloody awesome. Thanks, Ross. Right, yeah, so some other news. Big Ray, so you might, you should know Big Ray, uh, who had the GS1200, Rides like a bloody gun, rides it like a bloody dirt bike. Well, he sold it. He sold the bloody thing, and this is what he's bought. A KTM 990 Super Enduro R. Look at him. Doesn't he look bloody happy there, eh? Bloody crazy. So apparently, uh, this bike, I don't know what, I can't remember what year it is. There was only a, a couple of years or a few years where they manufactured this bike. There was actually only 3,000 of them made. So, um, yeah, I think this bike's going to bloody suit him down to, uh, down to a T for sure. And I think he's on a bit of a diet. He's looking a bit bloody thinner there. He was saying he's uh, he's been losing a bit of weight, so it'll be interesting to see how he goes. Good on you, Ray. Rightio guys, so this isn't actually news or anything. I had someone contact me and just give me a, a heads up with um, cruisers. Cruisers here in Australia with the four major... They're up in Mildura and they just noticed some. So I've just done a bit of a look around. So, barring Harley Davidson here in Australia, they have the full range from the smalls all the way through to the bloody huge ass ones. I've just jumped on Honda's website, and when we go there, so we've got Road, Super Sports, Adventure Touring, Touring, Custom, Naked, and that's it. There's there's no more. That So the only option we've got for a cruiser is the Custom, and it's this CMX. That looks like, I don't know what that, that's like a naked, a naked cruiser. Anyway, so, I'm going, well, Honda, Honda VTs and Honda Shadows, and where's all, where's all their cruisers? Are they not selling them anymore? Bloody crazy, so I went, okay, well, let's check out Kawasaki. So go over to Kawasaki, and as you can see, they've got quite a lot there, but you've got the one 900, there's another 900, and then these three here are uh, 650s <clears throat> that's it and then these are the uh, the the 2020 models um which are all 640s i think they're all 650s so i'm going <laughs> where's all the bigger bikes i don't know so then i went okay let's have a look at yamaha um that's yamaha so they're still at the Bolt R, the 650, 650. The, the Bolt R is a, um, a 942. Now I'm, I'm no bloody, I don't know all the different models and all through the years and all that kind of stuff, but I'm sure Yamaha had a lot, you know, bigger bikes. I, they've, got, they've still got the, um, the Virago, which then brings me to Suzuki. When you go to Suzuki, 
and Suzuki's website's shit. But here's the cruiser list. So you've got your Boulevard M109R. So that's I think that's the 1800, yeah, 1800cc. And they, they don't have the classic one anymore. Uh, they've just got that one. The C90, which is the 1400. The C50, which is the 800, which is the same as my bike. But... The intruder's gone. There's no intruder anymore. The intruder 250 has disappeared, and they've got this um, 650, which I must say, Boulevard S40, that's a pretty cool looking bloody bike. But yeah, so the intruder 250's gone. Yamaha's kept the Virago, because they were pretty much the similar thing. So there's been a huge, in my eyes, being someone that doesn't follow all this kind of stuff, but from when I was first looking, when I got um, Harry, which is what, uh, nine, nine, nine years ago? No, more, ten years ago now. Um, yeah, it's a big bloody shake up of stuff. So I don't know what the deal is. Um, but there you go. Crazy. Well, I think that's it for. Oh no, I've got some other stuff. Hang on. Right, so I just wanted to. I'll splash this up. So there you can see these are the uh, the newest crew members on Patreon. Bloody top blokes. Good on you guys, thanks heaps. And one last more thing, and that is the Geostash uh, thing for the crew guys. So of all the all these bloody ones are up, except for the Wasteland, I'll be doing that on in November, uh, when I do the Poon Kerry ride, that's gonna be dropped out in, in between Poon Kerry and Ivanhoe on that dirt road. I'm hoping it's not gonna be too crazy being on the cruiser doing that. Um, Here's some photos of some of the guys that have uh, yeah, got a picture all out there, bloody take. Well, they've got to take a picture of themselves with the actual geo stash, so that I know that they've been there, uh, and then I can send them out one of these cool stickers, which I hopefully should be here um, any day now. So there's Gordo. Gordo's got the the Himalayan, so he's been out to the shack and got uh, got that one. Greg, so Greg actually came on that tag along ride when we did the Murray Sunset. So you can see right in the background there is the is the hopper, and so we've laid near there is the is the geo stash there. Uh, this is Ross. Um, he's actually came out. Ross has been on one of the Ramble rides. He's uh, he's put the bike away and he's now uh, doing his. Uh, he's actually got a dirt bike. Um, he's, he's not doing the adventure bike stuff. He's got the dirt bike and he does his adventures on the Jeep. So he scored himself the big desert one. That's a pretty cool photo, that one, actually. Oh, and there's Gordo. Gordo with the uh, the Himalayan, uh, sitting back having a cold one at the shack. <laughs> Bloody cool. Right, yeah, so there you go, guys. That's uh, BB News, not BBA, as I said to start with. I just changed it when I did that logo. Right, it doesn't matter. Back to the man cave. Right, yeah, guys, so we've got uh, Mix rocked up. Well, he's, he's been here for bloody, oh, fucking forever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a little what? Hey, buddy, you show me some bloody good tricks, I tell you that. Yeah, a bit of, bit of tool work for your drill, drilling yeah. techniques and some yeah. pressing and forming techniques you can use. Yeah, bloody brilliant. Making stuff. So, I will be showing you that stuff, and you can tell me if I get it right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'll send you the, the theory yeah. behind it, and yep. then you can, I'm sure between the twos, you'll work it out. Yeah, that's it. So, we've got the uh, BMW F. 700 GS, nice snazzy looking thing. Oh, okay, and now I can see where it's dirty. She's <laughs> <laughs> got a few bugs. From Wagga to Adelaide, and then from Adelaide back to here, and it hasn't had a wash yet. Yeah, it looks pretty clean though. Yes. Yeah. It's a nice looking bike. So you got the, uh, the what is it, rig gear? Rig gear, yep, rig gear. Oh, yeah, doing the, doing the job. Yep. And you said the Barrett, that was the Barrett? Yeah, Barrett racks. Except it didn't, you said the bloody didn't... Uh... Didn't fit, no, it was, one side was about 12 to 15 mil out. I had to actually take it off again and re-bend it yeah, to get right. it to fit. But... Yeah. but you're the man with the tools and the knowledge. Yeah, cool. Now drive rider on the bloody back. Yep. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, so that's a, oh, that's a rig gear as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, gear. that's pretty... Tank bag. That's very much similar to the uh, the Wolfman. Yeah, the only thing I don't style. like about it, if yeah. anyone's thinking about getting one, they're cheap, they're good, they're not bad bag, but these side pockets, they've got padding in them, but you can't get nothing in them. 
Oh, right, so yeah. So you can't even put a bottle of water or something in there. Yeah, you know, yeah, A lot yeah. of the other ones have got bigger pockets, yeah. and they've got a pocket at the front for your phone, whereas this has only got the one pouch and these two side pockets for some pens, and that's about all you can get in it. So you can't even get that in there. It's, oh, right, yeah. Yeah, I was, gonna, I was thinking about sending them a... Uh, I think I'm saying, how about <coughs> making that half a little an inch, bit wider? Yeah, yeah, making it wider so you can actually yeah. use it. Yeah, right. It's not very usable. But it does what I want it to do. Yeah. Your that's phone and your wallet. And oh, so that's your fuel tank there? <coughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, right. the new ones, the, the 750s and the 850s, they've gone back to the conventional fuel tank up here. Yep. Um, underneath that is just the battery in the airbox. Oh, it's right. Yep. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. Cool. They reckon they tried that method as lower gravity and yeah. lower the weight and stuff, but I like it. it does so he like rocks along, gets you to... Yep. Yep. Yeah, it gets me around. Keeps me off the streets. Cool. Right, eh? Alright. Cool bananas? Cool bananas. Oh, I'm going to say back to the man cave, but then I always film it as you ride off. Okay. Cool. Hang on guys, we want to bloody... Uh, Go, go for it. Well, right, these BMW gloves, I didn't realise this till after I already bought them because I just wanted a good pair of gloves, but yeah. waterproof gloves. So that bit there yep. is the waterproof part, which is a normal warm sort of glove. Yeah. And when it gets hot and you want to go off road, you, there's another glove, your motocross type glove, Look at that. is there like that. That's bloody brilliant. Which gives you better feel and grip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, that's it. And, that, and you still, well, they do get hot in summer, I'm assuming, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, I thought that's, that's cool. pretty cool. So yeah. I didn't, I didn't realise till after I bought them and I read the book. I went, oh, how about that? <laughs> that's a bonus. I got a two for one deal. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Right, yeah. Mick. See you, bud. See you, bud. Righty -o, guys, so we oh, are going to go for a little ride on Charlie. And turned on and started up. <clears throat> now he's got the tee on, so it can't be too bloody long. <clears throat> going to take a shortcut, so I'm taking you guys to show you how sad me and Nay are. Ah. <laughs> I'm going to try and do a shortcut where I shouldn't do a shortcut, but I'm going to be respectful. Oh. I'm just going to go through this little park area. Um, just got to make sure I don't go crazy and there's no dog walkers or people. Oh, I made it, jeez. Now, this is where I normally do my uh, walking track. <laughs> so yeah, I was saying, I'm just gonna take his out. I thought I'd go for a ride on bloody Charlie. And um, yeah, how sad me and they are. We're very excited about something that's happening. And uh, that's what I'm going to, going to show you. Whoa, Jesus, some bugs around. Whoa, hey. Oh, this is where that bloody magpie is. He's not coming. No, nah. beauty. He's a bastard. Righty-o. Well, that was good. Nobody in the park. Yeah, it should be able to scoot up. Actually, no, I want to try something different. I'm going to try something different, guys. I've, I've got to be on this side of the train tracks, but I want to go this way because I think, I'm not sure, but I think I can get across. Oh, hey. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, it's that hay fever season. All the summer grass starting to bloody uh, seed up. Somewhere along here, I'm sure I can get across this railway. It's a little bit further up. Oh, there it is. There. That's it, there. 
that's it there I can get across can't I uh, oh, look, look yeah, here we go what's this a track that's a track Oh. All right, see if we can get... Hoopa! <laughs> hey! Come through here. Now, I've never tried to get a posty bike, or any bike, actually, through one of these. So, oh, this is easy. There's no, nothing hard about this at all. No trains coming. Straight through. Look at that! Brilliant! So now that gets me on to this little track. Oh, skinny wheels and bloody little, not little rocks, they're bouldery rocks. Do not, ah, Jesus. Do, what the hell? Oh, sweat to God. Yeah, there you go. All right, there we're better. Bloody hell. Um, yeah. Whoa, where are you going, guys? Bloody hell. Try it. There you are. Oh. Oh. Here we go. Yeah, skinny tyres in the sand or on the, the bigger rocks. They just don't like it. All right, we're nearly there, guys. Sorry. But I always like to try different things. That was a really good little bloody uh, trick to get through there. Oh, now I've got to... Oh, Jesus. All right, so from here... I don't know if you're going to be able to see. So we've got Bunnings over here. And then all this here was all bush. And me and they were going... Oh, I wonder if they're going to extend Bunnings because there's another big Bunnings. This is the original Bunnings that was uh, in Bendigo. But then they, they built a bigger one um, in Epsom, the other side of Bendigo. It's a pain in the ass, but they've got a bigger range and, and more stuff. Anyway, we ended up asking, and that's what they're doing. So our Bunnings is being extended. It's going to be a huge one. So... That's why me and they are pretty sad. <laughs> we're really happy that the, we're going to get a big Bunnings on our side of uh, um, oh, our side of town. But I tell you what, some of these bloody they've really dug right in. They've taken out so much. They just truck after truck, just pulling all the bloody dirt out. <coughs> Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we've been keenly watching this uh, slowly progress. And they're doing works up the other, obviously extending stuff up the other end. Yeah. So there you go. That's how sad we are. <laughs> Righty-o. Oh, here's my nose. Oh, might have to start on the hay fever tablets. Righto, better get back home before tea's dished up on the table. Whoop. Righto, guys. Back to the man cave. Now, I had this idea of doing the question for this video in the toilet, make it a bit bloody funny. And repeat, um, to repeat what they did and have the influence and and all that kind of stuff that they, they got out of that, just, I don't think that's gonna happen ever again. Whoa, now I'm getting too bloody deep. All right, on to the next question. WR, it's, it's clearly not an adventure bike um, by any stretch of the imagination that those with imagination can make it an adventure bike or use it as an adventure bike. Ah, uh, Jesus, I don't know. Um, in the world of fairies and pixies, I would uh, make a transformer bike. Now, the best answer to that is that I don't know. I've come through from Sydney, went through Canberra and, and, and through there. The way that I went, it was really, really windy. 
they're all for different reasons just i could not possibly and that's i'm not talking bullshit here i just couldn't single out one particular the uh october the Octo no november the second we've got the poon kerry uh tag along ride so <laughs> um all right victor arbex has asked why you have trouble remembering slash choosing words sometimes question mark cool all right so i started off way my first camera was the uh oh, i've actually got it uh i've got it in the bloody cupboard it was rambling she's in there drying her hair um just tex would you ride an electric motorcycle haha uh -huh. zero fx s from previous marriage i've been married twice nay's been married once i'm a slow learner apparently in constant weight uh springs on it that you once gave a wallaby a golden shower in self-defense oh my god where the hell do you get this stuff from stain tune um states that you don't need to do anything for it to work they do it's just way too much bullshit for me because remember guys it's just me that's it i do everything there's nothing that anybody else does with the exception of when i do a ramble and i have alistair or matt or like mick doing the driving beautiful <laughs> <laughs> well i think that that's that's the best answer we can give them Rightio, so some of you guys will know that Matt and Hayley, Matt, Matt's girlfriend Hayley, they went to Bali. Now, for the non-Aussie people, may not know where Bali is. Bali's a small Indonesian island, and I think if we go directly from this side up here and the top, Bali is a tiny little island there, a part of a whole group of Indonesian islands or whatever you hell you want to call it. That's where Bali is. It's the Aussie holiday capital, I would call it um it's cheaper to go to bali for a holiday than it is to say go to queensland to surface paradise or something like that anyway um so i said to him can you get me some bloody um footage of motorbike stuff so because he was going to be riding scooters so anyway they've done that and they've done it so well they went to the dais um thing and they had this bloody racetrack going on so they got some stuff on that they got uh, they did the quad biking through the jungles they got footage of that and then there's some uh, scooter riding during the day and some scooter riding during the night here it goes about 12 minutes worth of it we got mike he's up in there too now this is a snap
smashed it.
you go guys, that's another Man Cave Tuesday done and dusted. Hope you all enjoyed it. Remember guys, keep on riding and if you ain't riding, keep on keeping on.